hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you guys how i cleaned and seasoned my turkey the haitian way i like to season my turkey two days before thanksgiving here i'm just adding some salt vinegar and some lime juice that's how we clean our chicken salt vinegar and lime juice i'm gonna take about a big um about two of this is this lime or lemon I'm, i don't know i'm just gonna use that to you know to wrap around all the turkey all over the turkey i mean and in the lime and the salt and the vinegar they're supposed to you know take that turkey smell away and also take away any bacteria this is the process we we do for every meat fish or anything that we're cooking we usually use um, lime vinegar and salt to clean our meat we don't just rinse it with water nope we Haitian that's how we clean our meat so take notes I'm just gonna wipe the lime all around this then I'm gonna pour over some hot water and the hot water is gonna remove all the lime the salt and the vinegar to clean the to clean the turkey that's how we usually do it and here I'm just rinsing the turkey again with some hot water after you do this the chicken is gonna have a different smell and that's how you get the turkey ready for the seasoning and today I'm gonna make my homemade seasoning I have some chopped green and red peppers some lime juice some seasoned salt olive oil garlic onions scallions and parsley some olive oil so basically this is all the stuff that i use and i also use some i don't know is, how do you call this is like scotch bonnet pepper or jamaican pepper because you want it to have a little bit of spiciness because you want the turkey to be nice and juicy and we're also going to add some vinegar so you have onion garlic salt all-purpose seasoning olive oil hot peppers we're just gonna make some homemade seasonings which is gonna be really fresh I'm just gonna blend everything together I'm just I, I added some sea salt and this is another type of pepper that I'm adding and a little bit of vinegar to give it a little kick and we're gonna blend everything together. I like working, I like using fresh seasoning. I don't like using um, the one from the bottles. And you see how creamy and thick and juicy this looking? Oh my God. This is gonna have your meat or fish tasting so good. You want it to be really nice and creamy and thick. And I'm gonna um, put some whole, holes. Oh, sorry, I can't speak today. Because when the reason I'm, I'm punching some holes in the turkey is because I want the seasoning to penetrate to the meat. Because if you put the seasoning on top, it's just going to be sitting on top. When if you put some holes in there, it's going to get all the way in there. That's how I do my turkey. I don't know about other people. And I usually do my turkeys um, two days before Thanksgiving. I don't wait till last minute to do it because if you wait last minute it's not gonna be flavorful the seasoning is not gonna get through today is tuesday and i'm gonna cook this on thursday morning i let i marinate this for two days in advance and put it in the fridge i'm actually making two turkeys the other one is still i'm when i'm done with this one i'm gonna go and season the other one so you are making two turkeys because my family loves the way i make my turkeys so as you can see this the seasoning is looking all beautiful you just want to make sure you wrap it in all around it's pretty much easy and simple I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt because you didn't have any salt just a little bit more the turkey is big so you want to make sure it's well seasoned and then here you have it guys here's the finished um, result um, I'm gonna cook this on Thursday so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned till Thursday morning to see the, the finish well the complete result of the turkey i'm gonna bake this on thursday for about two and a half hours or three hours in the oven and i'll show you guys it doesn't have to wait till thursday thank you for watching please come again thank you